Today's great weather made it a perfect time to visit Fairmount Racetrack, but it wasn't horse hooky that took Art Holiday to the track. Art was there to meet a man on a mission. It was a great day for a limo ride. John Brown, living large. Hey, are we ready? I like away. keeping low profile. <laughs> well, it's too late for that. I don't know. <laughs> With a rock star entourage, Brown was back at Fairmount Racetrack. This is his home away from home. That's Brown's sister, Phyllis, who was in on the surprise. He was so excited. He has never ridden in a limo before. John is a veteran horse trainer who's worked all over the country. Well, one of the thoroughbreds that he helped train, a uh, big drama that went to the Breeders' Cup. Part of Brown's resume is that 2010 Breeders' Cup victory by big drama, jockey Ibar Koa in the yellow helmet. So what brought Brown back to Fairmount? Never been married, no kids. But he did have his favorite girl. If she loves you, she loves you. If she don't like you, she ain't got nothing to do with it. So which category do you fall in? Oh, she's my wife. She's his pride and joy. I heard a lot about you. Mo. Oh. oh my goodness. John, Look, she knows your you're here. You're there, your wife, John. <laughs> John, is that your wife? Yeah. Dre Moore and John Brown go way back. She, well, I know that she oh, senses she you. She's so missing you. Oh. <laughs> he trained her back in the day at Fairmount. Him and Dre Moore, they get along and they just click together. No telling if this is Brown's last Fairmount visit, but it might be. Um, the type of lung cancer that he has is very aggressive. Want me to do therapy and all that crap? I ain't about all that. And down the stretch comes John Brown, yeah, grateful for another day at the job. track. Yeah. How many people really think good stuff about me? They went to a lot of trouble for you today. More than I'd have done for myself. A guy that has a heart of gold, and he was one hell of a horseman. Unity Hospice in Belleville and Fairmount arranged for John Brown's trip to the track. Before he got sick, the U.S. Marine veteran finished his horse training career at Fairmount, even residing in the track's living quarters at one point. Wow, what an amazing legacy. And what are doctors saying about Mr. Brown's health? Well, as you heard in the story, he is no longer taking cancer treatment. The cancer, lung cancer, is spread to his brain. His sister says he's doing as well as possible. It could be a month. It could be longer. They don't know. But a great day for him today. Mm -hmm. A fantastic day. All right. Thanks, Thanks Art. Art.